Hello everyone, it's Krista. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fabulous weekend. I am hopping on to film my melting basket. Um, I'm really so excited to get going with some melting baskets and getting back into the routine of filming these. I've been kind of missing that routine of kind of having like a specific amount of melts to kind of pull from and everything like that. So I'm just very excited to get back into it and share my goodies with you guys. So I did pick kind of a variety of things, a lot of fall items and some other kind of random ones that sounded really good. So this is the basket I will be working on this week. And then whatever I do not finish, I will definitely you know, keep rolling over and keep trying to get through in the weeks to come. And I literally started pulling my Halloween wax, like my week of Halloween. I already started to pull some Halloween wax. It's October. I'm filming this on October 2nd. So I am literally all about the spooky mood, the Halloween. I'm, oh my God, I'm so excited. Literally counting down the days until Halloween. Um, but this is the basket I'm working on this week. So let me just jump right in here. I'll start first with like the Scentsy bars, the clams and things of that nature. Um, so the first bar I did pull, actually these three Scentsy bars are fall scents that are available right now in the current catalog. And these are all new to me scents. Um, two of them are ones that have been around and I just have yet to warm them in wax. Um, and then one of the scents is brand new this year like fall and winter season. So the newest one that was just released this year is this one right here, which is Cran Apple Crumble. This one's really, really pretty. I like the smell of this one. It's a little bit unique to me. I don't know. I don't know if I've really had too much like cran, uh, cranberry and apple scents together, but I love that combo. And it smells really, really good. I wouldn't say this is like over the top a bakery or anything but you do get kind of like a creaminess in here i know there's like whipped cream in the notes and i think brown sugar so you get like that sweetness in here and it's just more so like a fruity sweet kind of like sugary scent but it smells really good i'm really looking forward to trying this it smells really delicious on cold so i can't see or i can't wait to see how it kind of develops on warm <clears throat> Um, and the next one is Bright Cider Life. This one I know so many people love, so many people rave about it. And I wanted to try it last year, but I just never got around to ordering it. I think because last year I was so like obsessed with just like all of the vendor wax and stuff that was coming out. Like last year was my first like fall season with vendor wax. So I think I just got like sucked into all of that. Um, which I still am obsessed with, obviously. But I do love Scentsy stuff and I wanted to give you know, since these fall scents a fair shot and try a bunch of different ones. So I did place an order. Um, and this was one of the ones I wanted to pick up for sure. So I really, really love this one. It's like pumpkin, it's apple. I think there's, I feel like there's almost like a bakery quality to this one, but that's just to my nose. I don't know. Like, is there a caramel in this or something? I feel like there's just like a sweet like bakery quality to me. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm assuming too there's like a spice in here. I smell a teeny bit of spice but it's just such a fabulous scent on cold. I am like so excited <laughs> to try this one finally. So that one is Bright Cider Life. Um, and then this one I know I had in a scent circle I think last year I received one from my Scentsy consultant and this year I knew I needed it because I loved it in the scent circle. Um, and that one is this one, which is Autumn Road Trip. This is very, like, fresh, like, kind of outdoorsy, um, maybe, like, earthy, I guess is a way to put it. There's, like, maybe a touch of apple in here. But, like, this one, to me, I feel like you could definitely, I feel like you could definitely warm this any time of year, though. Like, to me, it doesn't scream straight up fall. Like, to me, there's almost like a woodsy, like, tree note in here, but it just smells really fresh, very clean. It's something a little bit different, so I wanted to try this one, and I know a lot of people rave about this scent as well. So I'm really looking forward to that one. <clears throat> and then other clams I pulled in. Um, I'm finally pulling this one in. I don't know. I never got a chance to warm this one last year when I got it 
and ordered this one. This is from The Bathing Garden, and this one is Honeyed Pumpkin Patch. And I do enjoy honey scents, and I think that's part of why I hadn't warmed this one yet. Like last year, I was still kind of experimenting with certain scents, and I have come to find that I do really like honey in wax. So I think that was why I hadn't warmed it yet. I was a little nervous for that honey, but now I'm like... I feel like I'm somewhat experienced with the honey now. Like I've warmed a few like melts with the honey. So I feel like I'm more comfortable to warming like honey notes. And this one is just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that honey is really pretty in here. But I feel like there's like, like a little bit of like maybe a slight spice or something. I don't know the scent notes of this one, but that is what this one looks like. Like, isn't that so pretty? With like the cute little pumpkins and the little bees. It's just too cute. I hate to even like break it and use it because it's so pretty. But I think we're definitely going to make a point to warm this one finally. Because I just, I can't wait. And I'm excited to test out that honey. And just see how it performs. It smells really, really good. Um, and then we have this one from Westbury Candle Co. This one smells like a caramel apple. It just smells so delicious. And that is this one, which is Salem. I love the packaging. Um, but this one is getting a little bit discolored. I've had it for a little bit now, and I'm just ready to get this warmed. But it smells really, really good. I always struggle to open these clams. And that is what that one looks like. But it's definitely needing some love, so... Yeah, oh, that apple in here is so like fresh. It smells so good. So really interested in this one and wanting to warm that scent. And then this one I have already warmed before and I know I love it. So I just threw it in. I have a few clams of this one now. Um, Tiffany of Tiff Talks. She's so sweet. If you guys haven't watched her channel, please do so. I'll put her link below. Um, she's just so sweet. She's so fun. I love her videos, but she sent me a few clams of this one. This is Sensationals. Um, this is Farmhouse Cookies. I wasn't able to find this one at like my local stores. Um, I did though just go like the other day and I did see it finally in my store. So I got a couple more. So now I have like, like six clams of this and I'm so excited. <laughs> it's just such a good scent. Very good for fall. It's like a nice bakery with like a touch of like a caramel apple just smells like a caramel apple like oatmeal cookie or something to me it just smells really good it's so delicious like I can't even explain it but I recommend trying this one if you haven't if you go to Walmart and you check out the wax aisle look for this one if you like bakery I definitely recommend trying it's really really delicious okay so those are the clams that I'm going to try to work on this week and then getting into some other like littler items here I have some scent shot cups um these first two I think yes I think these came from my friend Ilza she passed these along um for me to try this first one is from Black Magic Melts it's the leaves bath and body type which I'm really looking forward to I love the leaves scent from bath and body and yeah I can never have too much of it I feel like I need to buy more of that scent in wax because I love it like the candle I love the candle so much um, and then this next one is from Simo, and that is Falling Leaves. I don't have the scent notes for this one, but it just kind of smells like fresh, smells like fall, like the outdoors. I wouldn't say it's like the leaves, bath and body type or anything. It's definitely different, but it smells good, very fresh. So we'll try that out as well. Um, I did pull in a coffee melt. This one is just a scent shot cup, and I usually warm coffee like two to three times a week. Um, mainly on the days when I'm home and like I'm working from home, I just love coffee. So I might have to pull in more coffee this week just cause I don't know if this scent shot will be enough, but, um, we're just going to pull this one in for now. If I have to pull in more, I will definitely just go in my collection and grab something. Uh, but this is from Zape, the coffee sampler that I purchased. This is Campfire Coffee. It's smoky, campfire, old-fashioned donuts, sweet cream, and espresso. It smells so good. And I've been really kind of into, like, the smoky notes. Oh, my God, it's so good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, this is so delicious, you guys. Oh, my goodness. If this performs well, I need to keep my eyes peeled. I need to see if, like, this ever comes back because I really love this on cold. And I am so excited to try that. 
I have a couple more Sun Chat cups from that sampler, so I really want to work on them. All right, let's see what else we have here. <clears throat> Sorry, I just need a sip of my coffee here. Okay. So other items I pulled in, um, I did pull in this two pack of buns. This is from L3. This is honey buttered rolls, cinnamon sugar, raspberry jam. It just sounded very like fall, like a bakery kind of to me. And it just smells so good. Oh my God. I love this combination. You more so get the honey buttered rolls and like that cinnamon sugar like first, but then as you keep like sniffing, you get that raspberry jam in the background. And it's really delicious. <clears throat> really, really good. So wanting to try that. And then I also pulled a souffle. This is one that I did receive recently when I um, I placed a pre-order from Salt Mountain. And I did just get this recently. But the scent to me is very like September, like apple picking season, which is still going on. And I just kind of want to get some of those apple scents in my collection and like or in my uh my melting baskets sorry i want to get them in my melting basket and just enjoy warming them now while it is apple picking season um so this one was poured in like mid-august so i think it should be okay to warm and that is this souffle here which is cake at the orchard it's uh apple cider donut birthday cake and bartlett pear it's just a really delicious apple bakery and then you get that pear with it it's so delicious. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait. I've been really into just like apple bakery. Like I just had like some apple pie scents recently and just like other apple scents. I don't know. I've been really enjoying the apple. So I wanted to continue on and enjoy this one. So we'll try that. Okay. And then I do have a small little two pack here from Ava's. This was actually poured over a year ago now. So I wanted to pull this one in. <clears throat> oh my God. Sorry guys. I keep coughing and like my throat is just like kind of like, I don't know, slightly sore. I got over a cold recently. So I'm sorry if I sound kind of gross. Um, but this is Ava's country cupboard woodland berries. And it is just kind of like a woodsy note, but then there is like some berries in there. I don't know the exact notes of this one, Ugh, but it is so pretty though. I don't know why I haven't warmed that yet. Um, and then the next one, I pulled in this one because I just figured it would be like a nice bathroom scent. It would also be something that I could use to kind of just, you know, take a breather from like the bakery, the pumpkin, all of that. Um, and that is from Birdies Making Sense, and it's this cute little tub shape. This one is Avobath type and sugared lemon. I love Avobath from Lush. I love that scent. It's like a lemongrass, like clean, citrusy. Oh my god, it's just so pretty. I just kind of am in the mood for this scent, so we have one of these to work on. I have actually two of these. So I don't know, depending on where I decide to warm this, I might pull in my other one. You know, if I decide to like warm this in my open area, I might need a little bit more. So we shall see, but I'm going to start with this one, but I'm really just happy to pull that in. And um, another one from birdies, I think that's, I only have a couple birdies this week. Um, is this, it was a souffle, but I chopped it up and I started warming it like a week or two ago and I'm still working on it. And that is this one, which is one of my all time favorites from her. It's muffin can stop you. It's blueberry muffin and zucchini bread. It's such a delicious blueberry bakery. If you have not tried this scent from birdies making sense, I recommend trying it. Oh my goodness. I love it. It's just like the most authentic blueberry, like muffin bakery bread like oh it just smells so heavenly oh so I'm so excited <laughs> I'm excited to continue with this one I absolutely love and then speaking of some blueberry I pulled in a couple items from Rose Girls one of them is blueberry and I wanted to kind of blend it with something so I did pull in another one to kind of work on and blend with so this one from Rose Girls, I got it last year. I think I warmed like one, I think I warmed it once or twice, but I still haven't finished this bag. This is the Blueberry Pumpkin Patch type from Bath and Body Works. And I'm really sad that I haven't seen that candle. I 
I remember like getting that candle like a year or two ago and I really loved that type like I loved that candle so I bought this and I'm like in love with it and I think I've just been like hoarding it because I haven't seen that candle come back <laughs> but I love it so we're just gonna warm it we're gonna enjoy it so I pulled this one in and then I thought it would be kind of fun to try it with this and this is just like an older bag and I really need to use it up and it's looking a little rough here um, but that is this guy, which is Carbs and Cookie Land. It's such a fabulous blend. If you guys have tried her, like, Cookie Land blend, you know. It's just a delicious bakery. It's got, like, pretzels, cookies, and then her carbs is basically, like, donuts, bread, like, cookies. Pretty much any carb is in here. It's so good. Oh, yeah. So I'm really looking forward to trying the Blueberry Pumpkin Patch and this cookie land blend together. And I figured it's kind of a great way too to like work on two melts at once, you know, get to working on those. So we have those items there. And then I do have this full tub from Teddy Bees. This one is Jamboree. This is in like, I don't know how many ounces this, this is, what like, eight ounces maybe I think it might be an eight ounce tub um this is jamboree which is wild berry jam donut fresh baked bread with a hint of sugar and spices this type of scent just screams fall to me that wild berry jam donut in here is so good oh my god and this is what it looks like it's gotten a little beat up here but this is a decent amount of wax so I'm ready to get going and start this like tub and I'm just happy to chop it up and get mo like moving on this one it just is so fabulous and I'm really excited to kind of like officially give Teddy Bees a try I've only warmed like a couple of samples and I think a while back I did try a souffle but I just want to get going and really working on Teddy Bees and seeing if it performs well and just trying some of the stuff I ordered so happy to finally pull in some Teddy Bees here Okay, and then I did pull in this like a big half pie. It's not really a full half pie anymore. I've been working on it here and there. I've sent some to friends. So I'm just really ready to continue with this. And I know like the Rose Girls, like Mario pre-order and all of that good stuff. I know it's coming soon. I know she just posted about it. So <clears throat> like within the next, I would say like month or two, like I feel like that would get like posted and we can order so I really want to get going on my Rose Girls like Mario blends and this one I wanted to pull in I figured this would be like a really good nighttime blend just to continue with I have been working on it here so I definitely have a good amount of like melting to do left but I feel like I can definitely get like get through this and finish it up finally but this is Dr. Mario it's mint eucalyptus camphor musk lavender and chamomile it's such a beautiful scent Oh, yeah, it's so pretty. I love that chamomile in here. And like that, like eucalyptus. Oh my god, it's just refreshing. It's soothing. It's really pretty. So just want to get going on this one and just kind of work on my Mario melts. And I don't know, just make room, I guess. I just feel like I have an abundance of those that I'm still working on. And I just need to get going and get moving on those um so the next items that I have left are all like littler samples that I want to try out um so this one I received from Tiffany of Tiff Talks and this was a really sweet sample that she sent my way to try but this is a Milk House Candle Co sample in Caramel Apple um the cubes were rather large so I did cut them in half so I have four little chunks here Oh, yeah, it literally smells like straight up caramel apple. And I have a couple apple blends that I did pull this week already. So I figured maybe I could pair this with like one of those melts that I have like in the clamshells and stuff. I could maybe pair them together. So that smells really, really good. Um, and then these other samples are actually from Tiffany as well. And it's because she does... Um, the pink zebra she sells pink zebra now which is it kind of reminds me of Scentsy in a way but it's definitely like different product because the wax is completely different it's not like a wax bar or like a clamshell um and what I mean by that is the wax is like these little like what, what do you what would you call it like little pellets or like little 
it's like a little bits of wax, but you basically just like blend the scents together or you can warm them on their own. But I think that's the main thing. They are meant to kind of make your own blends kind of, which is really fun. I think that's kind of neat. Um, so this one I have to work on here. I actually have three of them that I'm going to try. So this one, I think one of these is also a caramel apple. Yeah, this one's candied cinnamon apples. So I feel like maybe even these two... Like some of the apple scents I can kind of blend together or like kind of warm them at the same time. So we have this one and it's spiced apple, cinnamon, and caramelized sugar. Um, and there is Tiffany's like website and stuff right here if anyone is interested in checking her webpage out. But we have this one. And then let's see, we have this next one, which is one that I'll probably use in our bedroom. It's the like lavender vanilla. And I love me some lavender, so I'm excited to try that. And then the final one is this one here. And hopefully I'm in focus here. Um, but this one is strawberry funnel cake, which sounds fabulous. So we have those samples to try, and I'm looking forward to it. All right, so that is everything that I pulled for this week. I'm Oh, I'm so excited to get back into this. I hope you guys are as, you know, excited as well just for me to get back into these. I know I used to do melting baskets every single week and I used to love it. And I'm just ready to have that routine back. So this is the basket I will work on this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys are warming this week. I hope you guys have had a great weekend and I'll see you guys very soon in another video. Bye guys.